Afternoon. A couple of things to start with. I mean, um, first of all, uh, not just because we got the result that we wanted was to vindicate Sam's reputation, who he is and who he was. I do really want to thank Mr. Dieters in his office and the law enforcement who did do the investigation on this case in a number of ways. One, they did it quickly. And in a case like this, when the family is in so much pain, even to the extent that there's evidence available that Mr. Dieters' office could not disclose because of the ongoing investigation, that still leaves the pain uh, unattended. And of course, when there is a vacuum of information, that's where all the speculation comes from. That's where all the anger comes from. So firstly, uh, to just thank Mr. Dieter's office and law enforcement for having done a quick and seemingly thorough job in taking, taking care of this. Two, and the family will echo this, this is a very trying time for the family. That's pretty obvious. It's also a trying time for the community, for Cincinnati, and because this is now getting the attention it's getting, and it's a next chapter in a lot of events that have happened similar to this, where cop and citizen or cop and black interactions lead to tragedy, we want to make sure, and the family is firmly behind, that though we understand the concerns in the community, we want those reactions to be completely peaceful. Sam was a peaceful person. Um, there have been some questions about how peaceful Sam was, and I think those questions have now been put to rest when you look at that video. There was this suggestion of whatever, dragging the officer, the arrogance towards the officer, failure to comply or whatever. I think anyone who's now looked at that video understands that Sam was who Sam always has been, and that was peaceful and non-aggressive. We want his memory to remain intact as a peaceful person, and we do not want any violence, any anger to come out in a way that denigrates who he was and who we want to be remembered as.